During the campaign to obtain these samples, Timothy F. Bass was contacted and asked for a voluntary DNA sample. Mr. Bass refused to voluntarily provide a sample of his DNA. Detective Bowie, who was the lead detective uh, in this investigation, also discovered that Mr. Bass lived on Strand Road near Mandy Savick's home, which she disappeared in 1989. When she was in high school, uh, he started attending the girls' basketball games and watching Mandy play basketball. Timothy Bass was four years ahead of Mandy Savick in school. When Mandy jogged with her dog, uh, the route that she would take would go past Timothy Bass's residence. Due to those connections Timothy Bass had with Mandy Stabbett, coupled with his refusal to supply a DNA sample, Detective Bowie decided to see if the uh, DNA sample could be obtained from Mr. Bass's employer, France Bakery. He worked at France Bakery uh, driving a uh, uh, delivery truck. The, uh, Bowie asked uh, uh, if he and other deputies could swab the interior of a truck that was assigned to Mr. Bass to obtain a DNA sample. The France Bakery Corporation declined to cooperate and the sample was not obtained. However, a co-employee of Mr. Bass observed Mr. Bass discard a plastic glass and a Coke can from which he had been drinking. These items were secured and given to detectives of the Whatcom County Sheriff's Office. The can and the plastic glass were sent to the Washington State Patrol Crime Laboratory for analysis. Forensic scientist Catherine Woodard examined these items and the DNA profile was developed from the plastic cup. This was compared to the DNA profile that had been developed from the vaginal sample taken from Mandy Stabick. The major DNA profile obtained from Mandy Stabick matched the profile from, or Timothy Bass taken from the glass. The estimated probability of selecting an unrelated individual at random from the United States population with a matching profile is one in 11 quadrillion. Timothy Bass was contacted, and this would have been yesterday, and the lab report had come back last week, so this is all very contemporaneous. Mr. Bass was contacted by Detective Bowie and other detectives uh, yesterday, the 12th of December. Uh, he was asked to give information about any contact he had had with Mandy Stavick prior to her disappearance. He indicated that he had no contact with her and had no relationship with her and had no intimate sexual relations with her. The deputies talked to him about an hour about this and he kept on denying that he had any <coughs> contact or any relations with her whatsoever. He was told that his DNA profile was found in the investigation. Uh, he continued to deny any intimate relationship uh, and he was then arrested and was taken to the Whatcom County Sheriff's Office and then indicated, well, he, he did have consensual uh, intimate relations with her prior to her disappearance. Mr. Bass was booked in the Whatcom County Jail and is present uh, today.